Hey loves, welcome back to part two of my Hotel Escare Arte vlogs. I am so excited for this part two. We cover a lot more than we did in part one, but it's all worth watching, I promise. So please stick around. Also, in part one, I told you guys that I would be incorporating a giveaway in these Hotel Escare vlogs and <sighs> Stick around for that, especially because I will be telling you how to join my very first giveaway later on in this video somewhere. I'm just going to pop it in and I'll give you all the rules to follow and what to do. I also want to take a small amount of time just to tell you what I'm going to be covering in this video because it is kind of a lot. So I'm going to cover expenses. Xochimilco, Explore Park, and Chile Poblano, which is one of the most popular restaurants at Hotel Escare Arte. So without further ado, sit back, relax, and let's jump right into it. Walking around in nature and some water and stuff like that. We'll see. We're on our way there right now. Another shuttle. It's our fourth one. That's what that's about. So our very first park that we start day two with is Exenses, and this place is unforgettable to say the least. This is crazy. Did you see the cat? We're gonna have bad luck now. No, we're not. See those lockers? Our first activity once arriving at Exenses is the path of doing. And this is where you walk under the waterfall that first welcomes you to town. And this is a place where the laws of physics and logic do not apply. While walking through this town, you have to try to just not fall the entire time because you really don't know if you're climbing down or descending up. As you can see, me and Moy are like, which one is it? We're super confused because it looks like you're going up. So we're going downhill? I think we're going just level. But it's like you're getting or pushed downhill. downhill. But we're not going uphill. It just feels that way. It looks that way. So while being completely confused about all of that, we still try to stop at all the selfie pictures so that we can take some good pictures for memories. But in all, this activity consists of walking through a authentic Mexican town of red tiles and beautiful architecture where you see houses, hotels, a church, shops, bars, bakeries, and fun messages from the residents that are meant to cheer you up. Once you're through with the path of doing, our second activity is called the slip. And I did not get to do this one. Only Moy was lucky enough to do this one because I'm gonna tell you a secret, guys, but you cannot judge me. I cannot swim. I was never taught. <laughs> you have to know how to swim because end up falling into, you know, some deep waters. But if you come to Extenses, this is a must because Moy could not stop rubbing in my face how awesome it was. Are you suited up? 
You ready to go zip lining? Yeah. You scared? A little. <laughs> It'll be okay. Are you? So yeah, activity ready. number three called the bird flight. Why you ask? Because you are soaring like a bird. So you go on this zip line that fulfills your wish of flying. And you're supposed to open your arms like a bird and feel like you're soaring and enjoying the view below you. Oh, hey guys! We decided to go again, right, baby? Yes, it's way too much fun tonight. <laughs> Here we go. Are we almost there? Almost there. Si, sí, vamos otra vez. <laughs> So activity number four, this was Moy's favorite activity, just kidding. You could see in his face the entire time how much he hated it and how uncomfortable he was. It's really funny. But in this activity called the sludgery, you sit down and you slide yourself with the help of the bars on the side and you are covered in a secret recipe of mud to help cleanse your body and mind. So they say that it will make you feel renovated. <laughs> Which I wouldn't say I felt all that, but it is something cool to experience. Don't worry. And at the end of the sludgery, you can shower with these streams that fall into a bucket and then you pour the bucket on yourself and you finish your treatment. So activity number five, unfortunately, I was not able to get any of this on video because it is not allowed. I did conquer one of my biggest fears, which is darkness. It's kind of like whenever you go turn on that, turn off that last light in your house and you're running because you feel like something is behind you, but there's nothing, right? That is kind of how I felt throughout the first half of going into the extensatorium, which is what the fifth activity is called. And I do have pictures of us in there because they, they do take pictures of you in there. There are three tunnels and they tell you which one to go through. So at first I went in about three feet and I completely freaked out and I ran back out. So I was like, you know what? When is the next time I'm ever gonna be here? So I just went in. Once you enter, there is no turning back. You go into complete and total darkness. In the Extensatorium, you will find that they set up all different types of ecosystems perfectly for you. And without seeing anything, you're supposed to kind of try to figure out in which one you are. Something to give you a little heads up. Be prepared to squeeze through small spaces and feel rough, soft, and gooey textures on every part of your body. Oh, and you cannot wear shoes, so you will be barefoot. Bye, baby. Bye -bye. Hey guys, so I told you I would pop in randomly in this video to tell you what to do to join my giveaway. And I'm nervous y'all because this is my first giveaway but it's also so exciting. So to enter my giveaway, 
you have to subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment your favorite part of Explore Park, follow me on Instagram and on this very video, so with your comment, of what your favorite part of Explore Park was, include your Instagram username. Again, really quick, subscribe, like this video, follow me on Instagram, comment your favorite part of Explore Park, and include your Instagram username. And I can't wait to actually send these gifts out to one of my subscribers. This is just so exciting for me and the products that I will be giving away are some of my favorite things ever and they obviously have to do with traveling. So I will be giving away products from PAX Travel, my very favorite luxury brand of traveling products. How would you say that? Like just yeah, travel products, travel accessories. And one of them is obviously gonna be a beautiful backpack and a laptop sleeve that they actually gifted me, but I want to re-gift. And you guys have to check them out. There's gonna be other gifts in there. I'm gonna fill the backpack with some of my favorite things, but for the most part, that's what it's gonna be. So good luck and may the odds be ever in your favor. Just kidding, but not really. break in between activities and what we did we just decided to come to the pool have a couple mojitos I can't even see with the sunlight baby so I'm filming terribly we got a little bit of time so just sipping it up for about an hour and a half then back to the hotel room to get ready and then we're gonna go do the dinner party on the boat thing so that's gonna be super just fun. To give you a little taste of what life in this resort's like. Do an activity, go chill by the pool, go do another activity, come back and chill by the pool. Stop coming to me. My bad. <laughs> it's beautiful. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> claro que sí. A ver, cheers. 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 Ahora que pele la abuela. Ahora que quiere. Ahora que quiere. Sí, claro. Y ya todo es como una shot. No. Tienes que tomarlo así y beberlo. ¿Te enseño? Vas a golearlo, mija, sí, era. So as y'all can see these buses. Este lado familia, avanzamos por favor. Brought us here where we're going to Xochimilco. I am so excited. This is our group behind us. And I feel like it's gonna be a lot of fun. So, well, I took a nap, so I gotta wake up. Yes. So now we're showing. Yeah. Fifth show. Huh? Fifth show. Yeah. I think you take a shuttle everywhere. Just might as well get used to it. Anyway, we're walking down Xochimilco, so we go like on a lancha on a little boat and we go out of dinner and drinks. We're so excited. We're hungry too, so I hope the food is good. But let's get going. We'll see what it's like inside. Right, babe? Huh? I'm still, I'm still sleeping. Oh, it's pretty though. Okay, I'll see you guys in a little bit. But don't y'all like my okay. outfit? Alright y'all. Back at it again. This time I'm here to tell y'all about Xochimilco. First off, it's about a 45 minute drive from the resort. That's first off. And you know I've been harping on shuttles, but that's, you know, that's one of the 
one of the things you got to deal with. We got to take a shuttle everywhere unless you want to rent a car yourself and do the drive yourself. And then they said when you get off, we're going to go directly into the boats. This is not directly. No. This is a good half a quarter of a mile. going to put a bad review. I <laughs> know you're not. We're not those type of people. Whoa, we're bouncing. Oh, man. First thing you do when you get off the shuttle is you still gotta walk a little bit. It's a light, nice walk, scenic walk. You, you get to go through some fun suspension bridges, makes you feel like you're walking around a castle and everything. It's fun. And then you get to the dock where all the all the boat party boats are, and each party boat is named after a city in Mexico. It's really really fun. And each boat I believe holds about 20 passengers and has a pilot or like a captain and a tour guide. Our group had about 10 people, and then they sat us with a family of four. They were a little bit boring, but we, you know, we kept the party going, we kept the vibes up and everything. So when you sit down, you're gonna get your plate already prepared, given to you. Had They have plastic wrapped over it so the mosquitoes and flies aren't getting to it, but they explain to you what each of your little square has. Each of your square has a different type of entree or type of food, but to be honest with you, you're not here for the food. The food is edible, but it's not great. You know what I mean? It's like one of those Tex-Mex restaurants in, in Houston that you don't really care for, but you'll eat and you just go for the you know cheap margaritas. <gasps> so just keep that in mind. You're you're here for the ambiance and the music and the scenery and doing a you know have a party boat vibe. Not here for the food. Keep that in mind. If you go for the food, you will be extremely disappointed. And you know, right off the bat. <laughs> So if you need some help getting into the spirit and you know enjoying yourself, they have the tequila bottles front and center. If you like the clear, if you like the reposado, they have vodka, whatever else you might need or like, it's right there for you. And you can pour at your own pace. You don't even have to ask the bartender or nothing. You just grab it. Limes for days, got the salt ready. Just grab it, pour, chug. Easy like that. Another thing to keep in mind is that this tour is about three hours long. You do have one halfway stop. At this stop, you got a restroom. They have some live music to keep the vibes going, keep the energy up. And they also have a photographer. Me and Jess definitely took advantage of it. Baby, what are we getting now? Dessert. <laughs> He's gonna explain them all, but I've had these before. You probably had a lot of these. These are real good. At some other point during the night, probably when we we're about only three shots in, they had us play this game where we all have to hold each other's hands and shock waves, you know, these electric currents through us, and they turn up the intensity, and whoever the first one to let go is loses, and you gotta take a shot of tequila. So, needless to say, Jess was the first one out. Also, during the cruise, you stop periodically at these different stages. With they have different musicians. With the you got the singer, you got the guy on the batteries, you got the guy on the keyboard, you got you got the guy with the guitar. Oh, and dancing is strongly encouraged. They just let you dance on the front of the bowl where they got a little bit of room. Be careful, it's at a little bit of a slant. I'm surprised nobody fell considering how many shots of tequila we had taken during the night. But definitely, I even got out there for one thing. I think one thing. I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure. At one point, we were all dancing around the boat. It was hilarious. All in all, it was a great experience. I definitely recommend it. It's definitely worth experiencing, in my opinion. But also keep in mind that the group of people that you go with will definitely determine the amount of fun you have. It'll be fun regardless, but you'll just have more fun if you go with the group that, you know, likes to enjoy the vibes a little bit more. But that's it for me, guys. Thank you. Excuse me, ma'am, what are you doing? Not throwing up. Inorganico? Yeah. This has the highest zip lining in Cancun. In Cancun. Not the world. The Playa Carmen. 
area. And look, we're like going underground. $12 on Amazon right here. We just got here. It's 9.30 in the morning. We did not do an outro last night. We had a few too many tequilas. Yes. Well, maybe more than a few too many. I feel fine. <laughs> Aquí. Like what? God shining down his light. <laughs> yeah. So, Parque Explore. This was one of my favorite parks <laughs> in my whole entire trip to Escaré. This is the type of park that you are definitely looking forward to. Like, this is the whole point of coming to Escaré to do friend? activities yes. like are at this very park. Oh. No sé. Yeah, that's good. Getting suited up. I'm ready. I wish I could see better. Like, any, any flash. Let's get started with our first activity. It was the underground rafting. So I have to say, I was a total yes. pro at this. If they had competitions for underground rafts at Parque Explore, I would enter and I would win. So, just kidding guys, but seriously, I was like really good at this. I was pulling all the weight because Moy was filming with the, Go with the GoPro, so it was just me. And you're given two small hand paddles and you just like tie them around your hand and they are meant to help you, you know, paddle through the water. But you paddle through these ancient rock formations among stalactites and stalagmites and you can either go by yourself or with a partner just be careful because if you and your partner are not in sync then it could be a little tougher to make the coordination between you two for example one of our group members Chewy, he went with another group member and somehow they ended up completely backwards and paddling like just the other way to even try to turn around. It was crazy. They were the last ones. They totally lost if this was a competition. So really trust your partner because me and Moy, I think we did pretty good. <laughs> All right, so first thing we did was the rafts. Yes. It was it was short. We, they have a long way and a short way, but for some reason the short route was blocked off. Yeah. But it was fun. It's a lot. Of, they only gave you these little like flip flops to paddle with, and it was harder than it seems. We kept bumping into everything. You got to watch out for the rocks. I thought we did really good. We did. We did pretty good though. We're gonna throw in some footage, but. It's really dark, so you don't get the, the whole, yeah, you won't be able to really tell how, how beautiful it was in there. It was really nice, dark, peaceful, but people were yelling, left, left, right, right, left, left, right, right. We have to work together as a team for sure. Yeah, well, we, we, we liked it, but we're, we're more excited to try out the zip line and what else? The amphibious vehicles, I think they got some amphibious vehicles, but we're ready, we're ready. You ready? Our second activity is the stalactite river swim and in this one you are to wear a life jacket just because it is such a long swim so they don't want anyone to get too tired or feel you know restless in the water because that could cause accidents so you are to wear a life jacket during the whole stalactite river swim this was a really good activity because it just felt so fresh and you're able to enjoy the beautiful scenery that earth has literally created underground so this was amazing i mean you are in a cave swimming and it is just a life-changing experience during the activity though you will see a lot of different exits and this is for anyone who might feel tired or needs to stop and take a breather but if you do make it to the end it is way worth it because 
you are greeted by a fantastic waterfall that makes your entire effort worth it. I'm not gonna lie, at the end of this, I mean, I did pretty good, but at the end of this, whenever we got to the waterfall, there was just so much downpour that I felt like I was gonna drown, but it is completely worth it. I would say that if you can, try to make it to the end. It is not hard. If I did it, you can do it. I can't swim. I mean, I know the basics, but it was not too difficult for me. was what I tell everyone about whenever they ask me about Escare. This was the zip lines. So if you're afraid of heights, oh well, it's time to get over it because you go through two circuits of seven zip lines each and you have a thrilling experience. So in total, you travel 2.4 miles on zip line and the highest zip line stands at 49 yards high. So 147 feet high. That's high. Don't tell me that's not high. I know that it's high. Vamos a ir juntos o no? Hacia este lado, amigo. Usted mirándome hacia mí, caballero. Si quiere pasar, se me corta este lado. Su cabeza afuera. Mírense hacia enfrente, hacia ustedes. Eso. ¿Hablan español ambos? Sí. Sí. Ok, usted va a agarrar estas dos. Ajá. Usted va a agarrar estas dos. Piernita con piernita, por favor. ¿Te da más bien? Sí. Pero cierre la pierna. Yo quiero reparar, no se te cargue. Siéntense. So do not forget to scan your bracelet at the beginning of each zip line so you can get a really cool picture of you zip lining through the jungle.
That one supposedly was 80 seconds. I felt long. I got a cramp on my arm. For our next activity at Parque Explore, it was the hammock splash. Do not miss your chance and skip this activity. Last activity at Parque Explore, it is the amphibious vehicles. Now these vehicles are hardcore guys. And this is where you get to enjoy the spectacular views of the jungle from ground level. And do not be afraid of going through all of the muddy puddles because these vehicles are meant to be submerged in water and come out completely fine. In this activity, you travel through caves, and tricky paths where you are just like twisting and turning so hold on they have bars on the uh, amphibious vehicles that you can hold on to they also have seat belts so you won't fly out but you got to put on the seat belt and just hold on and by the time you're done you better be covered in all of the white mud that me and moi were completely covered in Maybe it's all foggy. Okay. Alright, that's better. Okay, so we got done by Explorer and then we only had an hour and 30 minutes to get ready for dinner at 6. So we're on our way to this restaurant called Chino Poblano. I think it's like some kind of Asian, Mexican cuisine. So we'll see, we'll find out. It's supposedly a really great meal. We'll, we'll find out. Here is Jesse's outfit. What y'all think? And then I threw on a Hugo Ball shirt that I bought in Mexico, in Guadalajara, and the Alexander McQueen with some slacks. This is the one time we're gonna be kind of dressy. So after Parque Explore, we already had some plans for the evening and this was eating at one of the most popular restaurants at Hotel Escare Arte. But before we get into all of the food, I want to talk about the design of this restaurant. As soon as you walk in, it's like you're teleported into a completely different world. The entrances are small and the chairs are freakishly huge and when you look up the decor is meant to image Puebla and when you look eye level the decor is meant to image China. This dining experience at Chile Poblano consists of eight course meal prepared by one of the most known chefs in Mexico, which is Chef Jonathan Gomez Luna. And the food is said to be the best of Chinese and Puebla cuisine. The food presentation here is something I have never seen before and if you are as inexperienced as I was, don't worry, the waiters explain every single plate and anything that they put in front of you with much detail. Okay, so what is first? What's it called? What do you call it? 
and I'd like to just touch on course number three, which was the candy balls. These will really surprise you once you put them in your mouth, so be prepared and don't say I did not warn you. It has real gold. See, like you click on it. Real, real gold. Yeah. 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 Another course that I would like to touch on is the grilled bone marrow, roasted with five spices on a bed of smoked chile atole and escamole masa, which is like corn. And then this is all on a bed of sauce made of chili pepper and pumpkin leaves. So it was crazy just to taste all of these different flavors all at once. So this restaurant was truly just a completely different type of cuisine. It was as much fun to look at as it was to try every single plate that they brought to you. Also, something happened at the restaurant. Um, one of our group members, Chui, he got an allergic reaction to something and he's okay. He was okay that very same night, but they brought in a medical team like ASAP and they were there with him until he felt better. So that was good to see that, you know, Escare Arte takes care of their hotel guests. Siento que me quema todo esto. It was very memorable and I loved that they were able to sing to Moy with no problem. They sung him happy birthday given that it was his birthday present this entire vacation. So that was a really nice touch. They also gave him a little card signed by the chef that said, Feliz cumpleaños. I have a picture of it. I'll pop it right here. Hey guys, well, we just got back to the hotel room. We had such a great day. I mean, Explore was so... Explore was so awesome and honestly so was everything that we did today. I had so much fun. We went to all these new restaurants. Honestly, if I'm being completely honest, Chino Poblano was more of a hype thing, but I get it. Like, you have to experience it once in your life. But they also sang Moy Happy Birthday even though it's been a few months, but this trip was about him. So I was so happy that they were able to do that. Now tomorrow is going to be a super long day. I cannot wait to show you guys the footage on the GoPro because it's going to be just a bunch of like things in water. We're going to Excelha or Selha or something like that. I'm really like having trouble pronouncing all these things, but good night guys. I will see you tomorrow. It will be the last park day because we've reserved Saturday for just like an explore the hotel day. But tomorrow night, big surprise, we're gonna go to a secret club. So I'm really excited about that. All right, bye.